everyone, it's Ate Maylin again of Life Simplified and welcome back to another episode of Financial Friday. And for those of you who are new in this channel, welcome. Here in this channel, I talk about minimalism, homemaking, and financial education as well. So once again, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a mortgage professional. I used to be in the mortgage industry, uh, but right now I'm just a full-time housewife and I'm just doing this for public service to hopefully uh, spread financial awareness and financial education para sa mga kababayan natin, okay? Now, uh, so today we are going to talk about the terms of your mortgage. So when it comes to your mortgage, so basically, alam nyo na yun, no mortgage is the money that you borrow from a lender in order for you to purchase a property, okay? Now, saan ba po pwedeng mag-apply ng mortgage? So pwede kayong mag-apply ng mortgage either through the bank or through the lenders. So, dalawang tao yung po pwede nyo kausapin. Po pwede kayong kumausap ng mortgage specialist or a mortgage broker. On my next video, I will uh, discuss the difference between a mortgage specialist and a mortgage broker. So, let's move on to uh, to the terms of your mortgage. So, i-differentiate muna natin ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng term sa amortization. Amortization basically is your commitment to the mortgage. So, once you apply for a mortgage, the commitment that you are signing for that particular property or mortgage is a maximum of 25 years. So right now, hindi na nag-offer ng 30 years, hanggang 25 years na lang, right? So, so 25 years yon. ibig sabihin, um, you cannot just simply walk away from that mortgage. Yun yung commitment nyo. Ngayon, yung term naman is your commitment to that particular lender. So you can either choose a five-year term, four-year term, a three-year term of a commitment in that lender. So what happens after matapos yung term nyo dun sa lender na yon, your mortgage will be up for renewal na tinatawag. So if you can either renew your mortgage in that particular lender or you can transfer your mortgage to a different lender. So this is the time for you to you know, shop around and see if it would make sense for you to transfer your mortgage or stay in the same lender. And in my previous video, I have discussed how to calculate your mortgage payments um, that should be able to help you decide whether uh, if, let's say, for example, another bank is offering you an interest rate that is 0.5 lower, then you can use that tool to calculate what is the difference in terms of the mortgage payment and you can make an, uh, an informed decision as to whether it would make sense for you to incur uh, the, the, the cost of transferring your mortgage or just staying in the same uh, lender uh, would make more sense for you, right? So, so hopefully makatulong yung tools na yon. If you haven't checked that out, uh, it is called How to Calculate Mortgage uh, Payments para matulungan kayo makapag-decide, okay? Now, uh, so those are the terms, ano? so amortization is your commitment to that particular mortgage and term is your commitment to that particular lender. So at the end of the term, you can always shop around and transfer your mortgage to a different financial institution if, if you want to do so. Now let's talk about interest rates. So for interest rate, you can either choose to go for a variable rate or a fixed rate. So when we say fixed rate, as the term implies, it is fixed. So let's say you chose a term of five years. So meaning that interest rate is good for you for the whole term of the mortgage. So on 3.25, let's say ang in-offer sa inyo, five years yon 3.25, hindi magbabago, meaning yung inyong budget would be the same. So yung mortgage payment nyo would be the same. Variable rate fluctuates, ano? depende yon sa sa prime rate na isineset ng Bank of Canada. So, minsan tataas, minsan bababa. Right now, the variable rate is fantastic. Napakababa ng variable rate ngayon, right? However, anything that goes down, there is a chance of going up, right? So, ang, ang, ang tip ko po dun sa mga nag-variable rate, kung nag-variable rate kayo and you're enjoying a lower interest rate right now, kapag tumaas ang variable rate, don't change. Huwag na kayong magbago. Kasi you're still winning. Um, base sa research, yung mga uh, people who actually took advantage of a variable rate, as long as you can tolerate the risk, right? Um, those people 
are actually like uh, are still able to save uh, more money in terms of interest rate payment usually mas mataas kasi ang rate ng fixed rate kaysa sa variable rate ano because you're paying for the premium that protects the bank just in case na bumaba yung interest rate may risk kasi na tinitake whereas in the variable mas ang risk is being taken uh, by by the consumer right kasi if in the event na tumaas ang interest rate there is a potential that your mortgage payment could also increase within that term and usually you know notify naman kayo ng bank if they, you have to increase your mortgage payment para maka-catch up kayo dun sa amount of principal payment that is expected of you by the by the end of the term okay so that is basically the difference between variable and fixed rate ngayon uh, when it comes to penalty if you have to break your term mas mataas ang penalty pag sa fixed rate kasi meron kayong babayaran na interest rate differential okay so so in order to calculate that you have to talk to a mortgage broker or or a mortgage specialist and they should be able to let you know whether you have to pay an interest rate differential or not usually mas mataas ang penalty if you have to break the term of your mortgage when you have a fixed rate uh, as opposed to when you have a variable rate because i believe uh, if you have a variable rate you only have to pay three months worth of interest uh, for you to uh, to break the term of the mortgage okay so hopefully that helps now another terminology is an open or closed okay an open mortgage meaning you can uh, transfer your mortgage to a different lender right so yun yung pagkakaiba ng open meaning wala kayong babayarang penalty however usually open terms are so much higher than closed terms okay so closed terms meaning naka naka tied up kayo doon sa uh, mortgage na yon sa, sa term na yon so ibig sabihin if in the event that you have to break the term you have to sell the property then you have to pay penalty when you hear um, the terminology is five years fixed close meaning five years yung commitment nyo dun sa lender fix yung interest rate nyo hindi nagbabago and closed meaning you cannot transfer you cannot sell that property within that five years otherwise you would have to pay penalty and usually um, an, a closed mortgage is has a, offers a lower interest rate over an open mortgage so yung open mortgage usually kinukuha lang yan ng mga investors yung mga nagre-renovate so they usually choose a six month open mortgage para anytime na mabenta yung investment property nila they don't have to pay hefty amount of penalty sa bank okay so those are the basically just those are the basic terminologies in the mortgage term and amortization um, variable and fixed rate open and closed mortgage and next time we will talk about the difference between a mortgage specialist and a mortgage broker or um, a lender and a B lender okay so stay tuned if you if you find this videos helpful please consider liking and subscribing thank you so much once again I will see you on my next video bye